welcome to one of Prince Edward Island's nicest, most luxurious waterfront mansions. This beautiful home comes in at just under 14,000 square feet, and it comes with about 11 acres of beachfront. So without delay, let's go inside. Welcome to the absolutely gorgeous main entrance in this beautiful waterfront cottage. Absolutely incredible floors throughout, super, super high ceilings. We're right underneath the catwalk. We have an office and a half bathroom to my left, piano room to my right. After that's the whale watching tower. We're going to go up there last because it's really cold and windy today. If you look up, you'll be able to see how high the ceiling is. It has to be 25, 30 feet. We have a real working fireplace, super large living room, a formal dining area that table was custom made for this space and behind that's the open concept kitchen. Welcome to the kitchen. We have one, actually two dishwashers, we've got two fridge freezers, we have a wolf range, wolf microwave, and on the waterfront side we have a propane fireplace, big screen TV, and a nice little sitting area. This would be our main floor office space which is located right next to the half bath which is located near the main entrance. The half bathroom sits at the front of the house with a generous closet to the right and of course we're back to the main entrance. This would be my absolute number one most favorite place in this whole house is the library that is exposed to the waterfront. Just love the shelves, the ceiling, everything about this room, the furniture, the carpet, it is just an awesome, awesome space. Across the hallway from my favorite room is a beautiful full bathroom. Check out the tiling, the flooring, granite countertop it looks like. And over here we have a super large pantry for the kitchen which is just around that corner. Next to the full bath we have another entrance that goes to the fourth car garage bay and one of our two sets of stairs. We're going to go down that hallway next. The main floor laundry room includes beautiful floors, cabinets from floor to ceiling. We have a large stainless sink, washer and dryer, and we have a laundry chute that goes to the second floor, right there. The garage is absolutely massive, and as we know, next to the kitchen, this is the most important room in the house. We've got four garage doors and the potential to put quite a few vehicles in here. We've got a utility room there and a door that leads outside over there. The piano room is actually the base of the whale watching tower, which we'll go to last. Got a massive deck that looks like slate, and you can look up one, two, three, three stories from here. It's a great spot to see the beach. This home has two small basements which are very utilitarian. This is our second staircase, and we have three master bedrooms, of which this is number one on the main floor. Master bedroom number one features waterfront views. We've got a super huge walk-in closet that's almost a room in itself and we'll go check out the bathroom next. This would be one of the first master bedroom en suites featuring beautiful glass doors and you know it, everything but the best. Large mirrors and I do have a separate toilet area. I think it's called the California bath. Next to the library, this is my second favorite room, master bedroom number two we'll call it. I like it because there's this massive desk and I can work selling real estate 24 hours a day. We're on the waterfront, surrounded with large windows, and there's a deck. So you've got nothing but, you know, 270 degree panoramic water views. Off to the side, very similar to the last room, is a very large walk-in closet, and then we get the bathroom over here. This bathroom is very, very similar to the last one we looked at. Uh, I can't wait to see master suite number three. The second floor of the whale watching tower, we look down on the piano and we can see the access to the beach. It's a super windy day here today. We can see all kinds of white caps and it's only about six degrees Celsius. The catwalk sits right over the main entrance that we came in initially. We've got the living room here. We've got the kitchen over there. You'll be able to smell the lobster cooking. Master suite number three is pretty sweet. Excuse the pun, but it's, it's kind of quite nice. I might have to move in between the two master suites. You've got a fireplace here, and we have a large deck over there, and a large bathroom. Okay, I think I like this bathroom a little better than the other two. Same configuration, just sort of moved around. 
but uh, just the sense that you have the tub and you're looking at the ocean, I just think it's very, very cool. Just down the hallway at the front of the house is this bedroom here, which includes its own bathroom as well. The funny thing about 360 is you can't hide anything. So you can see everything in this one, but this is a full bath. Very nice, nice floors, nice tiled uh, bathtub area, shower area. Next to that bedroom there is this bedroom here, also in the front of the house, includes a full bathroom and a large walk-in closet. Our laundry chute is here, we're located at the absolute furthest end of the house on the west end, and this is a very interesting wing I'm sure you're going to find. When we walk in just to my left is two separate full bathrooms, which come in quite handy if you're having a big party. This room here features a little kitchenette area here. We've got a microwave and a sink. These actually open and they're beds. So these beds fold down. You have four of them. And then over here you have the uh, computer system that IBM would be jealous of. This is the entertainment system. I think there's seven or eight satellite receivers and a whole pile of nifty stuff. When this house was originally constructed, they actually had to fly the technicians in to hook up all the television sets, receivers, and all the electronic stuff. The house actually wired to have speakers through the entire home that can be controlled with the panels on the walls. After selling real estate from my master bedroom 24 hours a day, I'd probably hang out here for a great game of pool, watch the game, watch TV. This room's located at the absolute end of the house on the western side, complete privacy and noise separation. This home would make a phenomenal corporate getaway or high-end rental. If you're afraid of heights, this level's probably not for you. We're in the top of the whale watching tower.